What is going on, y'all? Welcome to part one of my revised guide on Super Vegeta Baby 2. Now, in this video, for those of you who saw the original, I will be going over what I did in that video and more, showing you his strengths, weaknesses, combos, stamina break setups, infinite loops, and one tech involving this skill that I'll get into at the very end of the video. For those of you who are new um, and didn't see the original video, please watch this video first before you watch part two, because in part two I will not be going over what I did in this video. But first, we will be going into the stamina breaks. Now, stamina break number one is this. One heavy. This will also work with two heavies. Then, three heavies. Oh, hold on a sec. I didn't time it right. And then this one here on the ground. Although online in the air, this actually can work in a decent amount of uh, lag because the hitbox just gets bigger online. Now the other one that he's got is this. You cannot link a heavy stamina break after uh, this sweep here. They will roll out of it or vanish out of it by mashing square. If you want to land a heavy stamina break, you have to commit into that last hit. Now the other one they've got is this. After that fifth hit, go into light stamina break. Then on the fourth hit of his heavy, you want to get a stamina break after this, you have to commit and do a vanish. You have to spend the stamina. You gotta time it correctly too. I didn't time it correctly right there. But it is possible. Okay. It was working before. Okay, you've gotta delay your vanish a bit. There we go. You can't do it too fast, and this will link a heavy stamina break as well. Now the other one that he's got is this. After that fourth hit, it has a lot of stun, so you're able to both apply a light and heavy stamina break. He's one of the rare characters in the game that can land a heavy stamina break while your opponent's still on their feet. The other characters that are able to do that include characters like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, Super Saiyan Gogeta, Future Gohan, etc. Then he's got this one here. This is probably his worst. You gotta flick your stick down in order to perform this. If you flick your stick up like you would normally, watch. He'll go into a back hit, so just keep that in mind. You can also land heavy after this. This is probably his worst option though, because watch this. I'm gonna put him on Z Vanish real quick. Get his stamina down. Watch how fast that stamina starts to recover. See how fast that stamina starts to recover? Unless you get them at the absolute minimum stamina they can have, you're never going to be able to land that stamina break online because they're just going to snap at you. That is the absolute minimum stamina they can have for you to be able to perform it. Now, the other method that he has is after that double axe handle slam that he does in that same combo, if they do not have the, the amount of stamina that is required to roll, 
You can either re-stand them into it, or you can just throw it out immediately while they're stuck on the ground, because this actually slams them down just like a sledgehammer does. They're stuck on the ground for a very long time after getting hit by this. And the other method, and final method, is this. After this knee, go into light or heavy stamina break at the cost of one bar of stamina. Keep in mind though, vanish combos like this can be iffy online. And that is the last stamina break. Now let's get into loops. Although first I will go into a, I will go into one of his main weaknesses. Now, one of the main weaknesses he has is that baby does not have any cancels except one freaking block cancel and it's easily on his worst combo string. Because like I said, this combo makes them recover stamina very fast. But you can block cancel this string here. But as you can see right there, uh, it, their stamina is going to come back lightning fast if you hit them with that and its damage is not that good. So I would never recommend doing that, ever. Unless you commit into it and try and bait a vanish out of them, that's the only time you should block cancel this string. Other times it really is not worth it. Now the other loop that he has access to is this, on the ground of course, bounce him up with a key blast. Then the other method is this. After the final hit, you can rush in, continue it. Keep in mind though, after you commit into that fifth input of his heavy combo, he will always follow up with that auto that uh, auto barrage of punches. That is an auto combo. Just like, it's just like the combo that uh, Super Jinimba has. Now the other one that he has is this. Instead of block canceling, you go into this double axe handle slam. You can of course loop them with a key blast. Then the other one that he has is this. Keep in mind though, online these kind of infinite can be very iffy. Then after that kick of his full square combo, go right down, catch him with that key blast, keep looping it. They'll, whenever you do a ground combo like that though, they can be a, the online capabilities of it working are actually a lot more consistent than it would be for like a launching combo like this. Unless their stamina broken, this is often not going to work and it's always going to result in them rolling back out of it online, so just keep that in mind. Then the other method of course is this. And of course after this final move here, you can also continue if you time it right. As you see right there. Now then, the final loop that he has access to is this. And this is a loop that people who watch the original video and know how I play Baby will know about, but for those of you who are new, he has access to this loop. And this involves that heavy stun combo, which I mentioned before is his best string by far this this is just plain and simple his best string because of the fact that it has a lot of range look at how much look at how much chase down this has on it this is easily your best combo starter so the fact that you're able to do this here you gotta time it and you gotta be fast 
but if you get this down, it does give him a standing loop. That you can go into many of his other strings afterwards. And this is a much better loop, and this is his best loop, because of one reason. Because it's a standing loop. Now, for those of you who don't know what I mean by a standing loop, a standing loop is a loop that keeps them on their feet. A loop that is that keeps them standing doesn't knock them off balance like this, allowing them to recover stamina quicker. Standing loop is actually going to make their stamina recover slower. And it can actually result in a much longer combo before you actually stamina break them, as you see right there. Now, online this is a little bit inconsistent against one character in particular, so keep that in mind. Against any variation of base Goku, whether it be the base Goku, of course, Blue Goku, Super Saiyan God Goku, Goku Black Base, any of those characters, for some reason, this loop, they can just block mash out of and deflect the blast right back at you. I don't know why that is, it, but it it is something that happens. I don't know. It's just Goku privilege, I guess. But as you can see right there, it's a very solid loop. Now then, that's it for his loops. Now I will get into his skills. First off, Variant Drive. This is easily what I would consider his most versatile skill. Though he, all but one of his skills are very good, to be honest. It's a very easy combo extender. He doesn't do a lot of strike damage, but it really doesn't matter because this thing only costs one bar. And look at how much range it has. It's a strike super. And look at that range. I can catch you even if I delay that. It's a very good skill for that reason, but it's also a good skill because of the fact that it's just fast and it has a ton of tracking. If they were to vanish me right there and I was to throw it out, this kick will go out and hit them in the back as soon as they vanish. And if they're not blocking it, it will just straight up hit them. Like that, you see? See how it turns around and autocorrects to hit them? Yeah, that's another good thing about this skill. And it's also safe on block. If they perfect block this kick, this last, this second kick here, it is safe on block. You can immediately block again and start moving. Now, this game, this uh, move is actually very versatile and uh, has a lot of utility to it. And as you see right there, uh, I'll get into this first. The shockwave of it. If you flick your stick right as you get towards them, although you can do it from a distance as well, though I don't know why you'd want to do that, because it's always going to miss at that distance. That's about the maximum distance you can actually unleash it from, and actually hit it. Its hitbox is actually quite accurate. Though this isn't really good outside of combo enders like this, for example. For a combo ender, it's pretty good, but for the purpose it's actually meant to serve, it is not good at all. And that's because of this. It, it, You see how slow it is on startup? You have enough time to just dash behind me and stamina break me because if, if I commit into this, look at how long it takes me to be able to move. Yeah. But the... Uh, it's not good for what it's supposed to do, and that is this. This is an unblockable attack. Just like the super attack, Shockwave, it is an unblockable strike. However, this does not combo extend at all. And it is not anywhere near as fast as Shockwave. However, 
There is one way that you can make this actually work that way. And that is by being at low health. If I am at the point where I'm about to die from one combo, I'm just going to let him recover his health real quick. Watch the speed difference. Not only does Variant Drive itself come out faster, but look at how fast that shockwave comes out at that point. If I were to do this, for example, yeah, you ain't sidestepping that. That'll immediately get you. This will stop people from block mashing point blank against you. Now, if they do this, if they're one of these people that do this all the time, then you're probably not going to be able to hit them with this. But that's an exploit, so we're not going to we're not going to count that. But if they're just trying to actually mash out of your combo like this, you could commit into it and just stop them immediately. But this is something that you can only do when you're at low health. I do wish that they would speed up the original version of this skill whenever you actually don't. Whenever you're not at the point of uh, almost dying from one combo, I really do wish they would speed up the shockwave. But they're probably never going to touch this skill, to be honest. And if they do touch it, I'm almost positive they're going to patch this next trick out. And this is something that people... Most people aren't aware of, but he is able to block cancel his variant drive. Almost immediately after you unleash it. This gives him a lot of utility in this skill. This is the reason I say it's definitely his best for uh, uh, just technical... Just a, It's just a very technical utility skill because of this right here. It's also a way to get in your opponent's head because of that, and if your opponent's not very reactive, you could possibly get the shockwave off if you've canceled it a couple times, for example. If I were to do this, for example, they think I'm going to cancel it, instead I go into the shockwave. If they're not very reactive, I will hit them with that. But... It's a very easy block cancel. It does cost key, yes, but it's, if you get the timing down, it can gives you access to a lot of other things that he normally can't do. Like so. Watch this. Oh, hold on a sec. It's hard to do this. You, you gotta time it correctly. If you don't time it correctly, it will up and hit them. You gotta be fast, too. If you're not fast, they will be able to guard after it. You see right there? Gives you access to new loop options as well. You can also do it like this. Which is much easier. See there? Very, very good versatile skill. I really do hope they do not ever patch this out. Even though I'm almost positive it's a bug just like Tribeam had at one point. Tribeam, for those of you who do not know, on day one of this game's release, it also had a block cancel like this. I just really hope that they don't patch this out in the future. I'm actually surprised they didn't do it in this patch because of the fact that they were working on Baby. But, thankfully they have left it in along with Crush Cannon cancels, so I'm happy for now. But, unfortunately, I'm one of those people who's very pessimistic, so I'm almost positive this will be patched out in the future if this game continues getting the support that I think it's going to get. But now, let's get into his worst skill. Reverse Shot. It does, its gimmick is that it comes back. It's just like the blast that he uses in Dragon Ball Fighters, Except it's very slow. It only shoots four blasts, and the damage is quite bad. Especially considering he is a very high 
damaging character when it comes to key blast power. It's just not very good. You can unlock and actually set it up, but the problem with that is that this thing is trivial to sidestep because it only goes straight forward. It does not curve. It does not go 360 degrees like a ghost. No, it it just only goes straight forward like a missile. Which results in your opponent just being able to do this and completely avoid it like it's nothing. And it doesn't really help it even when it, you're at low health. All of his moves actually increase in power when you're near death. That's one of his gimmicks. But for this scale, all it does is increase its damage, really. It doesn't really increase its speed or its utility. It unleashes more blasts. And if you do it point blank, you can get the maximum damage off. It does not combo extend. And it does a pretty ridiculous amount of chip damage, though. That is one thing it does that's good. But like, just like it can in its base power, these only go straight forward. And they also have limited range whenever they're powered up like this. Also, as you can see right there, they can just straight up miss. This gimmick is not good. The way that they could make it better is if they were to, say, make it to where if I'm point blank like this, all of them rush behind them. But even then, they'd have to change the mechanic of guarding because if you want, you can actually just straight up block this with your back online for some stupid reason. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, that's how it works. And it causes there to be a lot of problems. So it's not a very good skill, to be honest. And that's why I don't have it on my custom variation of him. But we're not going to go into that in this video. That'll be in part two. I will go back to this skill whenever I get into the tech section at the end of this video. But for now, I'll get into easily his best skill for damage besides his ultimates. You can combo extend after it at point blank range like that, and even, even then, you don't have to be at point blank range. Because you can spend the bar on a burst dash like this. And just keep going, keep going, keep going. This is his best skill for maximizing damage, especially on the ground, because you're able to do this nonsense here. See how, see how much damage that did? But the most ridiculous thing about this skill is, watch this. I'm going to spend all of it. Spend all of it. You got to time it correctly. But you actually can just straight up loop this three times and spend your whole bar on it. Look at that. That is freaking ridiculous. You can loop this thing three times if you combo it like that from point blank range. And it's very easy to do this. You can even do this in the air with this combo because of how much freaking stun it applies. And spending the bar doesn't make the knockback any less effective. You can still continue the combo after it. Just a very good skill all around. And it only gets even stronger whenever you're at near death. When you get that Zenkai boost, good grief. This thing is just kind of stupid in how fast it can kill you. Clear example. I'm gonna hold it down as long as I can. And just use two of them. See how long I can hold it down? That was a Z-Hit combo. Yeah, this thing is ridiculous. This thing is actually stupid. 
Now, for his ultimates, he has full power energy wave, but nobody really cares about that. It's just a very easy ultimate to unvanishable with. Costs three bars. It's just a very good skill over all around. But Revenge Death Ball, most people know about this skill, but for those of you who are new to the game, and I know there's a bunch of you, I've seen you. <clears throat> just a very good ultimate attack. Costs three bars, although you can charge it up, and the more key you put into it, the more damage it's going to do. It's very easy to combo into. If you're close to the ground, which is where you're likely going to be with Baby. Baby is best when he's on the ground after this combo here. And if you want, if you time it correctly and lunge in as soon as that ball stops hitting them, you can go into something like this. And continue the combo. Look at that. Look at that unvanishable potential. Pretty freaking ridiculous. Now he does have a way to, he does have ways to combo into full power energy wave as well. But that's the only way you can combo into Revenge Death Ball. The uh, ways that you can combo into full power energy wave, here's one that you can do. Oh, hold on a sec, not that. After that combo there. And after this combo here. If I'm not mistaken, you can also get it after this. Yes. And of course, the same way you link the the uh, Revenge Death Ball, you can also land it that way. But the gimmick to Revenge Death Ball, it has the exact same. It is the same gimmick as his Revenge Final Flash, except uh, the main thing it changes is the amount of key that comes back. It actually charges up a a lot faster than it normally does. I'm actually going to set my key to normal real quick. And set the health to normal. Let me just spin some bars real quick. I'm going to start at three bars of key, which is where uh, you have to be to actually use it. But watch how fast it charges up now. And just like before, you can still continue after it. And it also does a lot more damage because of his Super Soul and the natural Zenkai boost damage it gets. It's just a very good ultimate overall. Now he has Break Strike as evasive, but this 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 evasive skill is trash. I'm sorry. It 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 would be fine if it didn't. It would be perfectly fine if it didn't cost three bars of freaking stamina. But as of now, it costs three bars of freaking stamina dimps. It's trash. Buff it. A ah, little bit of a mini rant there. Now then, why don't I get into the combos? Now, one of the combo examples I can give you is this. You want to maximize the damage. Continue the combo after that if you please. Or you can do an alternate version like this. And actually end the combo instead of looping it again. Or if you want, instead of going into variant drive at all, you can of course, as I showed you before, go into more revenge final flashes. He's very, very easy to loop with on the ground. This is one of the biggest reasons he's best on the ground. It's because of his loop potential. He has a lot more loops whenever he's on the ground. Like I mentioned before, if you want to do this loop here, you gotta do it fast.
and you get more ex you can get a extra bit of damage there for using that combo instead. If you want, you can also use Revenge Final Flash after that instead. For a sizable chunk of damage there. Now the better option for um, the better options for actually starting a combo with this string. Often, whenever you're trying to stamina break somebody, you want to always try and cancel a variant drive because, like I said, because it's a block cancel, you can bait a limit burst out. If your opponent's trying to say limit burst right here, all you gotta do is, all you've gotta do is after this hit, block cancel the uh, variant drive. Although it can be a little bit tricky as you see there. But this gives you access to another loop. If you wanted, you could actually go into a full power energy wave instead of committing into that final hit of his heavy light heavy combo. Now I'll show you some stamina break combos. You can't really uh you can't really get much after this except for a full power energy wave, but this is a method that you can use. Though the better option is to always go into a uh, overhead string like this, and then go into the revenge final flash after light stamina breaking them like so, you get a lot more damage which will likely kill by the time you've actually gotten to the point to where you can stamina break your opponent. I would never try and stamina break after revenge final flash like that. It just usually doesn't work. Alternate version right here that you could do is commit into revenge death ball instead. And you can, and if it doesn't kill, you can always just go in and hit him with melee after it. Here's another method you can use. Be careful about auto vanish combos like that because they can be iffy online. But let's see here, and I'll give you one more example. Oh, hold on a sec. They gotta be at the absolute minimum stamina they can be at in order to uh, do this one. That's the last stamina break combo I'll show you all. Those are just examples. You can do other methods, but those are just examples of what um, I would do with this variation. I will now. The only tech I'm only the only tech I'm going to go over in this uh, video in this part one video is this right here. If you um, if you are able to set up the reverse shot after, say, a heavy stamina break, for example. 
See how they don't track? It makes it difficult to even set this up. If you want to do something like that, you got to do something like this instead. Turn around. And then do whatever you want after that. Or, if you want, you can also do this. Set it up like that. And use it as a combo extension. And then the final method I have for this is this here. Uh, hold on a sec. That's another problem with it, is that if it hits something in the background, it'll also cause the blast to completely dissipate. Which will make this combo not work. Oh, hold on. This is hard, people. Bear with me. It's easier whenever you've got the uh, eight-shot version of the attack. When you're at low health, for example. When you are at low health, this uh, setup is a lot easier to perform, but not by much. Could do something like this instead, for example. See that? Pretty cool. It's a pretty cool setup, but unfortunately, it's just not practical. The only thing that this skill is really good for is just really fancy tech setups like that. Or like this here. But that's it for part one, everybody. If you liked this video, please leave a like on it. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Share the video if you wish. And if you are new to my channel, subscribe for more of this content from me. It really helps a lot. I appreciate the support, and I will see you in part two.